On today's video, I'm gonna show you how I build templates and burn holes into my landscape fabric quickly and effectively to get growing on your market farm or large scale home garden. I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go, let's get started on making our, well, our templates first, so I'm just using some plywood. I used kind of thick quarter inch plywood, but uh, thin plywood would work. I went ahead and just measured out 10 inch centers. So from the center I went uh, one hole and then 10 inch on either side. You can do this a bunch of different ways. And then the hole saw that I'm using is just a Harbor Freight hole saw, pretty cheap. I think it's a two and three quarter or three inch. Uh, you can kind of make your decision on that, but three inches normally works good. Went ahead and just unrolled the landscape fabric. This is just a four foot by I think it's a 300 foot roll, it's DeWitt I'm pretty sure. Um, just the standard interwoven plastic landscape fabric that you see guys like JM Fortier and uh, Curtis Stone use. Uh, it's a little bit expensive, but it lasts a good while. If you bring it in through the winter um, and you don't leave it out all year round, you can expect it to last five to eight years. So that's a positive. From here, I just went ahead and measured it out with my tape, my 25 foot tape measure. A better way to do this would be use a rope and uh, get a 50 foot rope and then just tie it at the end and you can use that that way. That would be the uh, the easiest way to go about that. But I was a glutton for punishment here and used the um, tape measure. So after I measured that one out, went ahead and just uh, added some landscape fabrics and just double checked on there to make sure I was at 50 foot and I was. So next up, I took some two one by fours and a couple of little uh, two by fours and screwed them together. And the spacing in between those one by four by eights was about a quarter to half inch. That just gave me enough space to bring the blowtorch in and um, just cut a, cut a nice straight line through that landscape fabric. You could use something like the razor blades, but I have found that if you use the razor blades, you get a lot of these frills and the plastic just, it's like a string on your shirt or something and it just does not give. So you wanna pretty much burn everything when you're doing this just to uh, tighten up those ends. So I just went ahead and laid out um, a next another one and uh, you could do this a couple different ways. You could kind of bring it back on itself a little bit over 50 foot and burn a hole through a bunch of them to get 50 foot. Uh, either way works. This isn't actually all that time intensive. It uh, went by pretty quickly, especially if you're using something like that blowtorch and the, uh, the wood there. A lot of guys will recommend only doing when you're going to burn holes to only burn holes in three. I did that for this video just to um, make sure that it did work, but I would not be, I, I would say that you could burn a holes in up to three or up to, up to about five, I would say, especially if you're using a thicker plywood template like I was using. So that's, that's kind of just my take on that. So, and just once I had those three pieces cut out, I wanted to make sure I put a nice row of landscape staples there to keep it down and uh, nice and even. So we just took our template here, the 10 inch centers. I lined it up in the middle. Give yourself a little bit of leeway there um, at the bait, at the ends for your rows, but just go ahead with the blowtorch. And once you see that hole pretty much all the way through burning, you just pop it up and go to the next one. You don't need to drop that um, tip of that down there. So that was it. I do like how thick that um, plywood was because it kind of kept it from burning past those holes. So that was a plus. I was starting to uh, burn some holes in the wrong part of the yard and I thought that uh, Dr. Miller would probably appreciate if I was burning holes over here by the garden and not by the front door. So we moved to the sheets and now we'll continue. I'm going to let this just run here so let that whole thing go out but I hope you could tell there that I, when I line up the next row I just lined it up over those last holes that I burned so this template has five rows in it but I'll only burn four rows at a time because I lined that last one up with those top holes so I hope that helps and uh, you can tell we're doing three at a time here and it goes by pretty quickly.
And now we get to the fun part. Once you get those holes all the way burned through, you can just take up that landscape fabric. I leave the staples on the two bottom ones or the, the, the level underneath and just rip that top one over. It does take a little bit of pulling to get it off but uh, because it has kind of burned together, but you should have a nice smooth and uh, even ready to be worked in uh, landscape fabric that has the holes in it. So I hope that was helpful.